Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. It's cold, it's damp, and we're walleye fishing on the Bay of Green Bay. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, I woke up this morning at Sand Bay Beach Resort in Door County and looked across the big butt ice that is still covering <laughs> the Bay of Green Bay up there. But we're on the southern part of the bay today, Pete, and, and, and you and I should have stayed in Florida a couple extra days, you know? Wouldn't have been a bad idea. There was an ice floating around down there. No, but today is April the 5th. And, uh, and Rob, I love coming to the bay and, and trying for walleyes this time of year. And water temps are still 36, and it's a, a what I would call a damp, cold day. But you can still catch walleyes, right? <laughs> we hope so. You haven't done this as much as Rob and I, and, and this is usually where we first wet a line open water. And, and that oh, yeah. does feel good to be in a boat. It always does, John. It's way better than looking at a computer. And we will catch some walleyes, right? We hey, folks, so show over you using and how we're using it all of that coming up right after this hey folks i gotta tell you something we got a really cool contest going on with fleet farm right now it's called john gillespie's fishing getaway giveaway enter for a chance to win one of three great fishing packages these prizes include a Minn Kota trolling motor a hummingbird fish locator my personal fishing favorites and of course fleet farm gift cards the grand prize is a two-day televised fishing trip with me john gillespie sign up now through april 23rd get all the details at fleetfarm.com slash sweepstakes enter today for a chance to win during john John Gillespie's Fishing Getaway Giveaway. Now's your chance to win a new 2022 Grizzly 90 by Yamaha. Going on now, one lucky winner has a chance to begin a lifetime of awesome memories on a Grizzly 90, one of the best selling youth ATVs in the industry. They're the perfect ATV for youth riders to explore the outdoors. The Grizzly 90 is equipped with a low maintenance engine, automatic transmission, and electric start. Start a lifelong passion today by going to GillespieFishing.com. Click on this banner for a chance to win. Enter now. Sweepstakes is open through June 4th. I'm with my buddy Len at the Amsoil Mechanical Lab, and I really wish our ratchet straps still looked like this. Well, that hasn't been on the road with you and your dad That's getting all true. salty and beat up in the wintertime. But I've got two solutions for you here. All right. If you want to keep it looking that good, you're going to use the Amsoil Heavy Duty Metal Protector. And what this stuff will do is it puts a coating on that part, okay. and it won't let the salt get to it, and then it won't rust, so it'll stay looking new. If you've abused them, like we know you may have already done, and they're all rusty in the back of the truck, yeah. that's where you want to use the metal protector. This product will spray on there. It's full of anti-corrosion and a bunch of different cool stuff, and it'll free that rust and get the thing working like brand new. Wow, awesome. For more information, go to amsoil.com. Yes, folks, we're on the southern part of the Bay of Green Bay, and as you can see, there's a bunch of ice floating around out here. And one thing you got to be careful of this time of the year is the direction of the wind, because there's still giant ice sheets out there on the bay. And if you get the wrong direction of wind, you can actually get trapped out here. Yeah, you got to be very careful and watch, and, and uh, yeah, you don't want to get caught out here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, folks, it has been about three hours since we started fishing today, and this field Feels like a legitimate walleye, guys. It is a legitimate. And there we go. We'll just flip him in. Whoa! Uh, I guess Rob didn't get the net for me there. No, folks, we've been fishing three hours, and that is really the first legitimate walleye bite we've had. And we actually snuck into the river here, Pete, because that water was actually too chalky out on the bay, right? Yeah, it got really ugly out there. It looked like chocolate milk, and we did have ice blowing in as well, so it was a good thing to get out of there and try this. Hopefully there's a little better numbers up in here. Yeah, I just you guys had my lunch. lunch. I'm catching I was, Yeah, a little Johnsonville summer sausage yeah. there. You, you're still casting. Let's see what we got here now. And Rob, oh, that's a nice walleye, buddy. And yeah, there you go, Pete. Hey, nice job there, Rob. No, we were just sitting here eating lunch. And um, Rob, you know, you've fished here 
Oh, for how many years now? About 30, 25, 30 years? Yeah, on and off, John, yeah. And uh, it's really weird. Uh, we see fish all over the hummingbird, but uh, boy, they sure have been tough to get them to bite today, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, it just goes in spurts, and you kind of see that around us here a little bit. Yeah. Get this guy back. In the Pull water. him up first. Now that way, yeah. That's now that's a nice what? 18, 19? Probably 18, yeah. Hey, actually, this is right after the one Rob caught, folks. And this is a smaller walleye than the one Rob had. Still here counts. he is. Yep. No, I, I think that's right. one I can just flip in. Still a legal walleye, but uh, that's one thing I should mention, folks. The rules on the river this time of the year, you can only keep one walleye, and it's got to be over 28, a trophy fish. But uh, you can see by all the boats out here that everybody is out here just to have their rods bend and do a little open water fishing. Okay, front of the boat, folks. It's been, it's been another hour or two since we had a bite. Let's see what we got here. It's a walleye for sure. All righty, there we go. Not a bad walleye there, folks. And again, you can see right on that stinger hook, if you don't have that stinger hook on, you don't get that fish. And I'll tell you, Pete, you know, you've done a lot of walleye fishing over the years. You get these 36 degree water temps, you really got to slow down and, and downsize on your baits a lot, don't you? Yeah, just in general with this real cold water, John, and uh, tough conditions in general, you definitely want to slow down, downsize a little bit. And those stingers are obviously really important today. Hey, here we go, Rob. That's just a few casts later, buddy. Here he comes. And... You need a, you need a Ooh, net, John? Whoa, there's a nice walleye there, guys. <laughs> Wondering if, well, might as well, just for safety. <laughs> there is, that's the way to do it there, Pete. There's Actually, a big that's, a, that's, a, that's a nice walleye right there. And you can see that maybe later in the afternoon here, folks, they're getting a little bit more aggressive because that one actually has the big hook in it, Rob. You can see that right there. Oh, hey, yeah. one thing I want to mention coming up uh, in the month of May is our favorite fishing tournament of the year. It's called Fishing with the Stars up in St. Germain, Wisconsin. And it's a little fun tournament. And the winner gets an opportunity to fish with Pete Mayna, Rob Manthai, and myself, and Blake. And Rob, how can folks enter and what are the dates? Well, the tournament, John, is in May. It's May 13th, 14th, and 15th. The 13th is a Friday, which we do all the door prizes and registration. And then uh, the tournament is on the 14th, on that Saturday. And then we'll pick the three lucky winners that evening to fish and film on Sunday the 15th. Ooh, well, I'm getting hot in the front yeah, of the boat here, are. gang. This one, this, my, my line actually jumped when this fish hit. Really? Which is, means they're getting aggressive, and that Good. is fun, you know? There we go. Nice walleyes, man. And these mostly, oh, folks, fell off. I think are the males here. And uh, you'll get those big females later on, a couple weeks from now. But as this weather warms up, folks, Rob, I'll tell you what, you get a couple of warm days, this is going to be a heck of a bite up here. Well, Blake, you didn't miss much yesterday. I'll tell you what, it was cold, damp. We only caught seven, eight walleyes all day. So we have to fish today, and we're in Waukesha County, and we're going to crappie fish. Ooh, that will be fun. I'm excited for today. Yeah, I should mention that the ice just went out on these lakes about six or seven days ago. So the crappies are the first fish that you attack this time of year. Okay, sounds good to me. Now we're with our buddy Maddie B. And Maddie B, I'll tell you what, over the last couple of years, the best crappie bait in the land has been the Kalen scrub. And you don't even bother with live bait this time of year, do you? No, John, haven't fished live bait for crappies in a long time. They hit plastic, they eat it, it's, a, it's amazing. But the trick is, fish it super slow and fish it with a bobber so you can hang it vertical and keep it in the strike zone a lot longer. If you don't fish a bobber, you cast it out and reel it back and it comes out of the strike zone. So just like you're gonna fish live bait with a bobber, and I take a 16th ounce wire keeper jig with the crappie scrub and throw it out there, twitch it a little bit, and, and they eat it. Fish on! 
Blake is going to be the first. We Ooh, a doubler. Double. And Blake nice. is actually, Blake's got a keeper there. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. Yeah. And uh, one thing about these baits today, Blake, you're, you don't have to move it much, do you? No, with the wind, you know, the waves, you know, move that crappie scrub. So you just kind of have to <laughs> be patient and watch your bobber. And mine went just straight down. <laughs> this is literally one after another. Look at how they're eating that crappie scrub too, folks. But one thing I want to mention, you know, as we talked about before, the ice just went out on these lakes, oh gosh, about six, seven days ago, and it got 41 degree water temp. Matt, if you get a nice, sunny, calm day, the fishing out here in the next couple weeks is going to be fabulous, isn't it? Yeah, crappies, big bluegills are going to start showing up in these weed flats and shallow. Check the north side of the lake because the sun pounds on that the longest. But yeah, the next couple weeks is going to get really good. <laughs> right by the boat, Blake. Right by the boat. Oh, there's nice a nice job. one, Blake. Yeah, that's a nicer one. Hey, Manny B, stand next to her. Now, when, when nice you're fish. looking for crappies right after ice out like this, shallow bay, weeds, and the warmest water you can find in the lake, which is usually the north end. Yeah, absolutely. And, and right at ice out, John, I actually put good weed beds in front of actually water temp because a lot of the water temp right now on the lakes in Waukesha County are around 40, 41. So weeds are a big, big factor. And then if you can find weeds even close to like boat docks too, they, they love that structure. Lift it up. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh! There, now there's, there's a 12 a girl. Oh my gosh, that's Look awesome. at that fish. Wow. That is a beauty, Blake. That is a beautiful oh. fish. Wow. That Look is, at that. I think that's one of the biggest crappies I've ever caught. No, you've caught bigger ones, but that's, that's a beautiful nice. fish anywhere you go. Yeah. And you know what, Blake? That crappie scrub is so awesome because you don't have to put your hands in a cold sure, bucket yes. and put minnows exactly. on it. Exactly. Right? I turn towards the, the camera. The crappie scrub beats a minnow every day. <laughs> wow. I looked away for one second and my bobber was all the way down. Let's see he, what we got oh, here. Another, oh, 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 another wait, dandy. We need a net. We need a net. We oh, need a net. We need there's a net. another dandy Blake. Holy moly. <laughs> Oh, that is a oh. oh, wow. That's what we call a dinner plate. <laughs> a dinner plate. Look at, the, look at the crappie scrub. <laughs> wow. Ch -ch choked. No, I looked over for a second and I looked back and my bobber was all the way down. Boy, that's a beautiful <laughs> wow. fish oh, that there, fish Blake. Up. That one's yeah. got spawn and in you, it. You can see that that's a female and plump with eggs. Yep. And yeah. that's definitely the one you want to let go and keep Absolutely. the nines or the tens. But I mean, what a blast. You yeah. know, southern Wisconsin, all these lakes down here have great crappies and bluegills. Mm -hmm. And to be catching them in, in 41 degree water temps. <laughs> and it's crazy that the ice was just here about seven days ago. Yeah, isn't that a beauty? That yes. that what is that's 12 13, Matt. We'll yeah, 12 and a half, 13. We were fishing the lakes of Waukesha County, a one hour drive from Milwaukee, two hours from Chicago, and four and a half hours from Minneapolis. Live imaging shows you what's below in real time with edge to edge clarity and no gaps in coverage. All so you can turn must watch detail into non stop action. Only from Humminbird. Well, we had to go down a very dirty, dirty road today, and our boat got a bunch of sand, salt, and mud all over it and that can cause permanent damage to our boat but you have a solution we do have the solution it's called the aqua jet johnson pump washdown system and it is the strongest psi washdown in the industry without having to haul any power washers down any hoses hook up you're using the lake water filtering the lake water leaving your boat completely sparkling clean wow i can't wait to get johnson pumped <laughs> Can't let Blake catch oh. all the fish. Here we go. And we got ourselves. Now that we talked before, we threw Blake's back. That is the eater size I got a big right one, John. There. I got a big oh, one, you John. Got one too. Yep, yeah, I can yeah. tell this is a big one. Oh, Blake, get the net. Get the net. Ooh, this is a giant. This, this is a guy? giant. Oh yeah, this is a 13, 14 incher. Oh, really? Look at this okay. fish. Don't flip them in. Look they at this got fish. Paper mouths, paper mouths. Scoop that one. Ah! 
Look at that one. There you go. Oh, oh Maddie B. Blake, I think I just tied you with, oh, with another. Oh, we'll have here, to measure Blake, on the clam rod. Okay, let's do. measure it on the clam rod. Blake, here, Look grab this one that. and hold it up next to, to Maddie B's. And the one I have is an eater size, and the one Maddie B <laughs> is, is a big female, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, clean those, clean those nine tens. Let these big ones go. Boy, are those beautiful fish. Beautiful. And Manny B, you know that crappie scrub. I'll tell you what, my buddy Rob up yeah. north, he won't fish unless he's crappies unless he's got a scrub. That has been the most red hot crappie bait, what, the last five years? Oh, for sure. It's fi five years, John, and it works everywhere. Yeah. And you don't have to do anything. Just cast it out. You got waves. Let the waves give it yep. the action. And the, the little legs, get it done. Boy, is that a beautiful Let's fish. See. Yeah, it is. What do we right, got here, buddy? It. What is she? Just over 13. Wow. Just over 13 Nicely inches, and Blake's done. was 13 too. I want to get in on the action on some big ones, and uh, all I'm catching are the eater size. But, uh, you know, again, folks, with 41 degree water temps, you just look at how they're eating that crappie scrub. Matt, it is unbelievable how hungry these fish are. Look at this, John. Next, my next cast. This is your next cast next after cast. the jumbo? After the jumbo. And, and it's a good eater. You got yourself an eater there, yep. Matt. And time of day doesn't make a difference, folks. This time of year, midday can be the best bite. Absolutely. There, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> this is so much fun, folks. And you know, oh, look at <laughs> Matt. You can't even see those crappie scrubs. <laughs> I mean, it is just amazing. Awesome. And again, folks, all you got to do is cast this thing out and we got enough waves today so you watch that bobber just kind of float in the waves and underneath the water this little jig head is making these little legs go and uh, that's what the attraction is. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2022 Fishing Contest. Thomas Pye of Racine caught this 39-inch northern on Eagle Lake on a shiner. Josh Castangue of Watertown caught this 16-inch crappie on Rock Lake on a shiner. Brad Clavin of Thief River Falls, Minnesota caught this 32-inch walleye on Lake of the Woods on a shiner. Roger Derrickson of Chatek, Wisconsin caught caught this 15-inch perch on Devil's Lake on a waxworm. And this week's kids' winners are Brantley Grow of Sheboygan, caught this 14-inch perch on Lake Winnebago on a rosy red. And Van Nicholson of Mauston caught this 14-inch perch on the Mississippi River on a red hook. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal, 20% off on these select fishing lures. The Spins B Fishing Jigs and Lures, Acme V-Rod Lures, and All Meps Lures. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. There's another beauty, Ooh. Matt. Nice fish. Now, is that on the throwback side? Um, I would say, no. <laughs> This is a keeper. That's yeah. a 10-incher. Now, so today is April the 6th. Really, the month of April, the whole month is good. Oh, yeah. The whole month, I mean. With the ice going out a little later, probably a week later this year, I'd say, than normal in southeastern Wisconsin, um, these fish are going to go. And they move around and uh, look for weeds. It's all about the weeds. <laughs> Oh, there's Peter Blake. <laughs> well, we got some weather coming in. It looks like there's a big storm coming. Well, yeah, it, and we should mention, you know, it's a chilly day. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's supposed to rain this afternoon. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> those crappies have been biting pretty yeah, good they all have. day, you know? Yeah, we had a good uh, solid two hours where it was almost every cast. So it's been a really, really great day. I'll tell you what, folks, I've been doing this crappie fishing in southern Wisconsin since I was a kid, and uh, I get just as excited now as I used to, and that's a that's nice eater size right there. Perfect eater size. But I wanna talk a little bit about when you're fishing in, in the spring in these windy conditions are these rocket bobbers. And the cool thing about them is you can cast them a mile with or against the wind. 
Folks, Johnsonville has been a leader in the sausage industry now for over 75 years. And did you know they're hiring? Besides their love for sausage, there are many reasons Johnsonville stands out as the best place to work. Johnsonville is a family-owned company with a unique culture that puts their people ahead of profit and focuses on the career growth and advancement of all members. Johnsonville, they're so sincerely interested in you becoming the best person you can possibly be. I started Johnsonville as a temp. When you first start a company, you still don't know much about the company. So when you actually like learn what the, the, the job about and how much it means to the company, how much they care for their employees, it's kind of make you want to like, wow, this company you want to be at. that two inch hyper hammer look at that this bait has three super unique features the built-in glass rattle it's a play off the google eye jig series that's been phenomenal for open water walleyes incorporating it now in a jigging minnow for ice fishing and open water the brass slider which is the hammer in the middle that slides back and forth so you have a glass rattle and a hammer pin going back and forth making two different types of unique noises and then the third feature which is the most unique is a soft tail that rotates up and down to give it two different types of actions and again you can change out that tail to a whole bunch of different colors hooked up johnny oh yeah i got one too oh we got, oh, doubles. We got two we got doubles. one time we got blake's got we one got matt's doubles. got one well, i kind of feel oh i got a little, little you got a little bass let's see what <laughs> Oh, big one. We got a big one. Oh, really? She's oh, got a big one. Flip him in, Blake. Flip him in. Oh, oh, there you go, Blake. Oh. You, know, you know what's amazing? Giant. You know what's amazing? You know, we talked about the weeds before. Yeah. But this weed bed is only in two and a half, three feet of water. Yep. That's very It's interesting. shallow. It, but, and there's, you look for those dark clumps. Yeah. And those are the good weeds. And then when you can find some hard gravel bottom mixed in that's that yeah. equals big crappies right that's there that's primo blake that's, <laughs> that's a awesome. beauty and the wind is blowing right into the shoreline which is good yes correct? absolutely <laughs> maddie b i don't want to leave buddy i do not want to leave when you're catching fish like that look at this crappie right oh. here folks and i want to mention you know we talked about it before we're on okachi lake today but there's a ton of lakes here in this part of the state. And Matt, maybe you can name a few where, where folks can go for crappies this time of year out here in Waukesha County. Yeah, a ton, John. I mean, you have Pine Lake, Oconomowoc, Pewaukee, North Lake, I think is Carrion, Okachi. I mean, there's so many good lakes right around here. And then the Madison chain is really good too for crappies and bluegills. <laughs> All right, way to go there, Blake. Oh, well, hey, Pete, sir. Starting to rain too, yeah. but I want to talk a little bit about this blackfish gear. Mm -hmm. This is the new stuff and it's great and it's warm for this time of year, but it is? Waterproof. So this is the blackfish storm skin. So it's wind protected and it's waterproof and it's warm. So it's perfect for this you know weird time of the year where sometimes it's warm sometimes it's cold it rains it doesn't so the blackfish storm skin is really a great piece of clothing and his pants and top yep and the pants well underneath also they have this uh, felt yeah which keeps you really warm too hey matt how do you like your blackfish gear there buddy nice and warm john on this cold april day I don't think this is a crappie, you guys. These feels a little too big for a crappie. <laughs> we'll see if we what we got here. Well, let's see. It's probably a bass. And yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Hey, I want to mention too, folks. Uh, the new rules are you are allowed to fish for bass this time of year, but you can't keep them in the state of Wisconsin. Right. So that's kind of nice if you want to do some early season fishing. You know, the bass are coming up shallow. <laughs> Never gets old, John. No, and you know what, man? You know what I was thinking before, Jeez. buddy? It, you know, today is April the 6th. That, that's what's so neat. Oh, is look at that. In this, you know, in the Midwest here that you can fish these panfish all year round, you know, but uh, a cold day like this on April the 6th, catching these fish like this, it's amazing, buddy. Yeah, and the bites has been consistent, probably 50, 60 fish. I mean, it's 
It's just awesome. Oh, that's what my that, very next cast, yeah, Johnny. This is the one after the other deal this. now, buddy. Look it at really this. It really is. And, and one the, after another. And the cool thing is, folks, again, that time of day, I don't really, really think makes much difference this time of year, you know? No, we caught them at high noon. We're catching them at three. You catch them at nine in the morning. Yep. I mean, it's just crappie scrub all day. Now this, you know, normally I wouldn't think of, you know, weather conditions like today would be conducive to crappie fishing. You know, the temperatures dropped about 10 degrees and it's blowing like crazy. But I'll tell you what, they are biting like crazy. That's that little scrubberoo there, guys. <laughs> we actually, the wind is blowing so hard, folks, we had to find a little channel area here, an area that's protected a little bit, and it has gotten a lot colder as the day's gone on here. That's another eater size, right, man? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Another one. Here. I got the best position here in the back of the boat, folks. When you put it on spot lock like that, the guy in the back gets to cast with the wind. Nice well, let's work. let's see here. We got ourselves ho-hum, just another, I bet you that's 60 fish, 60, 70 fish that we've caught today, you know that? Oh yeah. Awesome. I don't know, it kind of feels like a bass, it could well, be a Well, let's see what crappie. it is, let's see what it is. Never I'll tell you what we point. got there. Whoa, Blake, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get her in there, Blake. I'm trying. I'll tell you what, we've had a lot of fun today, but we uh, have. that wind is really blowing and it's starting to rain again. What do you say we go and get a Johnsonville, Sounds Blake? Sounds like a plan to me. How did you think this boat handled big water on Lake Superior? Oh, it handled it amazing. I mean, we had two to three footers at times, and you just glided right over the top of them. You wouldn't even feel the bumps. It, you could have swore it was dead calm out there. What did you think about having that many people in the boat and the fishability? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, everybody can spread out. You can have a couple in the front, a few people in the back. Uh, nobody's worrying about hooking each other and uh, everybody has their own space and you got plenty of space for uh, your fishing equipment. What do you think of the flooring? I love the flooring. Um, it's easy to fish out, it's easy on your feet. We have fish slime a lot, especially when we're catching pike. It's easy to clean, that's what I love most about it. Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Oh, well, great day. Windy, cold, and rainy. Let's go home, right? <laughs> Let's do it. I'm ready for a Johnsonville. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. And I'm Blake Gillespie. Hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.